Hello you beautiful lads and welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you lads are doing fantastically well. Hopefully you lads are happy and safe. Back again with another video. Lots to talk about. Lots to discuss. Frank Lampard's press conference has just ended and we have got something very interesting to discuss about. But before we begin, thank you so much for all the support and as always, subscribe if you're new because 5000 family let's just hit that that is all i had to say subscribe for daily chelsea content and you will be amazed join the family and it would be amazing without any further ado let's begin with the video first off let's talk about some very interesting lineup talk for the game against newcastle a very important game and a game that that we always lose for the past 10 or 15 years. It is very difficult. But now Lampard's press conference has made me more unhappy regarding the game. First off, Thiago Silva, as I always uh, said in yesterday's video, that he will most likely not feature against Newcastle. That has come true. And Lampard has said that he will remain behind. He will not travel with the team to Newcastle. He will stay at Chelsea's uh, training ground and he will recover because remember he's not in his prime years he's not 26 years old he is 36 years old and he can't play every game he played for Brazil full 90 minutes on Wednesday against Uruguay and you all know how tough South American qualifiers are Messi just gets bullied every time he plays there and it's so so physical that being said we have got some options at the center back position i don't want to see andres christensen at all because trust me newcastle's team are very physical and andres christensen let's just say he's not capable of handling physicality that being said antonio rodiger of fikayo tomori both of them are good on their day but, but i prefer fikayo tomori he's younger he is our future and last season he was incredible for us whenever he played. So, Fikayo Tomori, please tell Lampard to start you because I really want to see him in action and play for a full 90 minutes. Now, let's talk about another player who I dearly love, who I dearly care about, but it seems that he's always injured. Christian Pulisic, Lampard confirmed that Pulisic will miss the Newcastle game. He has still not recovered from his knock in the training before the match against Burnley. And let's just say I'm not proud of him. I don't want a situation like Usman Dembele. So much potential but always gets injured. And Pulisic has been injured a lot for us. And it's quite Sad. He needs to improve his diet, he needs to improve his fitness and he needs to do his level best so that he makes his legs stronger because I don't want a player who has got so much talent but is always injured, is always out of contention and I don't want to see Werner on the left wing again and again. Pulisic is way way better of a left winger compared to Timo Werner. Now let's talk about our final piece of news. This time it's good Kai Havertz. Remember he is suffering, was actually suffering from COVID but Lampard has now confirmed that he has recovered. There is nothing to worry about and he is training but he's training alone. He's not training with the team. He has still not fully recovered because COVID affects our lungs, it affects our stamina and that sort of thing. So I personally don't think uh, he will be fit enough for Newcastle. He is still recovering. But he might be fit for next week's Champions League game against Ren. It is on Wednesday next week. And I think hopefully he is okay. Because Havertz, we need him. He's such a talented lad. And although our midfield is quite strong, Kovacic, Mount and Conte... Havertz is just different gravy and we need him as soon as possible. That was it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching. Lampard also spoke about fans coming back to stadium and it might be possible after Christmas. Let's see. Let's hope it happens because without fans, 
football is kind of boring let's just say that it is quite interesting but fans add another element to the game that being said that was it for now guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for all the support i love you all and our family is getting so closer to 5000 so keep subscribing if you are new for daily chelsea content it was a short video today for you guys hope you liked it hope you like my presentation and thank you so much for watching see you next time